Let me tell you the story of a pathetic man, truly one of the most pathetic men in history. And I love talking about this man because I can think of no better example of someone who the world held up in the highest esteem, who turned out to be disgusting, sad, and pathetic. And that man is Hugh Hefner. The world told you that you must be envious of Hugh Hefner, Air, the, the, the founder of, of Playboy, oh, the Playboy Mansion. You have to be envious of him. And if you're not, every other man is, so you need to be too. And the reality is that no one knew until he died of sepsis is that they couldn't pay me a million dollars to live even a day in the life of Hugh Hefner. Because remember, you got to take the whole package. How did Hugh Hefner become the person he was? Hugh's mom never said, when Hugh Hefner was a child, Hugh's mom never said, I love you, never hugged him. Hugh Hefner was so emotionally stunted as a child, his parents took him to a psychologist who said he's socially immature and emotionally deficient, and the solution that the psychologist gave was for his mother to show more love to him. And she never did. As if that's not trauma enough, his first wife, he married her when they were both virgins, right? They both saved themselves for each other, or so he thought. He went off to fight in World War II, he was deployed in World War II, came back, found out that she cheated on him when he was deployed, slept with another man. He said, it was the most devastating moment of my life. So Hugh Hefner took these two massive wounds from the two most important women in his life, took these wounds and went on to inflict more pain on so many other women and so many other men, dragged generations of men down with him. And he could never commit. Hugh Hefner could never be a real man. Real men commit to protect and provide. He never could. And when you hear his background, you're like, well, of course he acted like that. <laughs> of course, it makes perfect sense. Why were we envious of that again? It makes perfect sense why he would, I'm not like rational, I'm not justifying and saying it's good, but it makes perfect sense that he would go on to abuse women for the rest of his life. He hates women. Look at the two most important women did him. The two most important women him betrayed him in profound, powerful ways. Women who he trusted, who crushed him. So of course he hates women. But the world praised him. Where was society? saying this is not a real man, right? Where was all of society saying, look at this pathetic coward. Look at him, he can't even commit. He can't even commit to a woman, he's not a man. It took thousands of years of wisdom regarding harems and we never applied it to, to the guy who had the biggest harem in America, right? You look at David, David uh, for all of his strengths, he had a harem of women. And it was the cause of his downfall. His kids raped each other and murdered each other and he didn't care. And then they overthrew him. It was like, it's a mess. <laughs> Hugh Hefner for my entire childhood should have been a cautionary tale, but instead it was a TV show. And parties, oh, the parties were the stuff of legends. <laughs> it was just sad and disgusting. You go, end up, you die of sepsis and then no one wants your Playboy Mansion. They don't even, like, fit, like you can't, they can't even sell the Playboy Mansion because it's so filthy and disgusting. Two of his more recent girlfriends, they were the ones in the TV show, they say that the girls were just funneled into his, his room for orgies and his room was like a hoarder's house. It was just disgust, this disgusting, filthy hoarder's house. And they're like, let's just get it done with. Oh, it's so glamorous, right? What a lie. And it's not even just Hugh Hefner. So Ron Jeremy is maybe the most famous male porn star ever, right? This is inside Ron Jeremy's Hollywood house, right? Look at this. Cockroaches, just, 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 just got pie, garbage piled high. You can't even walk through it. What a perfect metaphor for his life. That's it. That's his life manifested in reality. That's it. 
Oh, you think it's the glamour? No, 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 it's this. It's his, it's this apartment. That's his life, that's his soul, that's his heart. It's wretched and depraved. Do you think he was ever happy? Well, the world said he was. He was a household name, he had the life, he could sleep with whoever he wanted. What a lie. And it's the same lie we're still telling boys today. Only now it's just more violent than ever before. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. This is not an easy topic to discuss, which is why we must discuss it. And I'm very grateful, proud of you, in fact, for watching that clip and uh, having the courage to continue on and hopefully stop this addiction. You can do the, uh, you can watch the rest of this special on thefirsttv.com/support.